This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Hey guys, what is up? Back with another video. Hope everyone's having an amazing day today. Me personally, I'm doing better than I was yesterday. There's no blizzard today. If you guys want to see the full extent of the snowstorm that we had yesterday, make sure to click the link in the description and that'll take you right over to my vlog channel where I posted a vlog about me basically just walking around in the middle of a blizzard and explaining how in Winnipeg it's a pretty normal occurrence. But today, we got a brand new pair of sneakers. Now you see a little burgundy bag and you may be like, a uh, little burgundy doesn't doesn't sell anything nice. Actually, I don't even know if you guys know what Little Burgundy is. It's a Canadian chain and they sell a lot of lifestyle sneakers. And you guys might be like, well, they don't sell anything nice. And I'd agree with you 99% of the time. But I walked in there today just because I felt like it and they had one of the nicest pairs of shoes I've seen in a while. If you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to smash that like button. It goes a long way in helping out the channel. But here are the shoes. Look at, well, here's the, here's the box. These aren't the shoes, this is just a box. Nice box though, we got Vans off the wall and they actually hooked me up with something really cool. They hooked it up with this notebook right here and it's just a cheap Vans notebook and it has a whole bunch of lined paper on the inside as you guys can see. And you may think that's no big deal, which it really isn't a big deal, but I use tons of notebooks. So having a notebook is great, but the pair of shoes, let me tell you, they're even better. Here they are, look at these, seriously look at these. It's a pair of Vans Skate Highs in a Vachetta tan colorway or in a skin color, a white person's skin color that is, or I don't know, this is really, it's a weird color. It's a raw, untreated, Vachetta tan type color. As soon as I saw these, I was like, ooh, these are nice. I want to get them. And that's exactly what I did. I got them. Now there's some huge differences from your regular skate highs on these. First off is the material. It's a pretty decent cut of leather. Most skate highs have a canvas or a suede or something like that. This one is 100% leather. It comes with wax laces as well, which is a great touch. The entire upper is the exact same tone of this Vachetta tan, this, this nude as some people call it. And you have a zipper on the back. Now I'm a huge fan of this because skate highs are impossible to get in and out of. They're super hard, you need to unlace the entire shoe. But you don't when you have this. You literally just pull this open you can slide your foot right in there. Now, the leather is not like super, super nice. In fact, I'd say it's pretty average leather. It's the type of leather you'll find on a Jordan 1 mid or something like that. Like it's eh, it's not terrible, it's not great, it's not bad, it's not amazing. It's just average leather. Now, one thing that's really interesting about this is that usually on van skate highs and vans in general, this little portion on the midsole right here will be covered with little protrusions, sort of like studs, 3D triangles, I guess. I don't know, it's like tiny little spikes all around this little area of the midsole and on this is completely smooth now that's a small difference that I noticed except it just looks really cool it gives it more of a clean and just continuous look on the midsole versus having that little breakup of that little textured part right here on the toe it's smooth from the heel to the toe and it looks really cool now if you're a big fan of Jordans a big fan of Yeezys this might not be 100% in your style it might not be in your comfort zone this might not be something you're used to purchasing except if you want that grown man style type look if you're going to a formal place and you still want to wear shoes, if you're going to like a semi-casual business place and you still want to wear sneakers, you can wear these. This is going to do the trick for you. You can wear these and they will pass as a formal or at least semi-formal, formal casual, whatever you want to call it, type of sneaker. This is something I'd wear to like my grandparents' wedding anniversary or to or to a work Christmas party if I work somewhere other than my room. Seriously, work Christmas parties when I'm the only person that works for me is really awkward, really boring, and it's just sort of sad. Last year, I was the only person that showed up. If you guys want to come to my office Christmas party, just let me know. I'll shoot you over my home address and we can just hang out. What December 17th, let's go for that. Office Christmas party, December 17th, right here. These shoes though, they're expensive for Vans. That's the one thing I was surprised at. They're 150 Canadian dollars. 150 freaking Canadian dollars. That is a lot of money, a lot of money. And I was very shocked when I saw that. Most vans here are around 90 to 100 Canadian dollars, which is around 65 to 75 US dollars, which is very affordable, it's great, you can buy them, beat them up, you don't have to care about them. 150 Canadian dollars, that's like 110 to 115 US dollars, which when you're getting a pair of vans, although it's a lot cheaper than a pair of Jordans, is still pretty expensive. With how nice this colorway is though, I was happy to pay it, like I'm, I'm really pleased with how nice these look. You got your little off the wall hang tag right here, which apparently is a, oh, 
it is too, it's a sticker as well. If you guys didn't know this, you pull this off and you can actually peel off the off the wall thing, the skateboard logo right there, and it's a sticker, so that's pretty cool. Not only do they give you this notebook right here, not only do they give you a pair of shoes, you get a sticker as well. Now if that's not value for money, I don't know what is. Let me know what you think of these down in the comment section below though. I am a big fan, it's a slept on shoe. It's not a hyped up shoe. I didn't know these existed until I walked into the store, but I think they are very nice indeed. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Let me know out of 10 what you think of these down in the comment section below. Comment a rating one to 10 and why you chose that rating, your likes and dislikes of this pair of sneakers. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Make sure to check out the vlog channel and also, I dare you guys to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I, I don't think you can. I don't think you're brave enough. I dare you to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I double dog dare you with a cherry on top. Links down in the description to do that as well. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. I'm in Charlotte at SneakerCon this weekend, so crazy videos coming from that. And until next time, peace.